researching using Boolean operators is not that complicated. In fact, you probably already do it in your day-to-day -day searching around the web. Basically, it is just using the search connectors and, or, and not in order to broaden or narrow your search. Each of the operators serves a different purpose, to get more results, less results, or exclude a particular concept from the results. So I'm using Academic Search Premier, and I'm going to show you some Boolean searching, um, starting with a very broad search using the keyword crime rate. This search retrieves almost 4,000 results. So if I find that is too many results or too broad of scope, I can use the Boolean operator AND in order to narrow. So let's add gun control law. And using the drop down box, you can choose AND and do another search. So searching using AND and these two different concepts retrieves just 33 results, which is much less than my original search. So all of these results contain both crime rate and gun control law somewhere in the record or in the full text. So the more words you combine with and, the, the fewer results that you'll get and the more focused your result list will be. So if I want to broaden my search and increase the number of results, I could just simply switch the Boolean operator from and to or. So our result list has increased to almost 7,000 results since we are looking for items that contain either crime rates or gun control law. So this is the highest number out of all the searches we've done so far. Um, and this technique can also be useful when there are multiple common spellings or synonyms of a word. So the Boolean operator not can also be very useful when searching in databases. This is how you would exclude certain words or concepts from your result list. For example, if you're searching for articles and you only want them to be about crime rates and you want to exclude the ones that mention anything about gun control law, just change this drop down box to not. And this takes our results to 3700. So um, those are the basics of searching using Boolean operators, and you can do this in the library catalog, other library databases, and even Google. So I hope this is helpful in your searches, and if you have any questions, please contact a librarian.